All right, I've been messing around with Discharge, and I have this build that I've made that's kind of wonky. I kind of don't like it, but it's still kind of cool, so I wanted to make a video on it. I'm going to go through all the things I'm doing right now. First thing I have is a little bit of Spell Slinger with Frost Blink of Wintry Blast. And what that does is it allows me to attack with Frenzy, and then I blink when I do it. Now, it's got a bit of a cooldown, but it's not too much. So you just kind of walk and blink with it. And then I still also have Frost Blink. So I can Frost Blink manually, and then I can Frost Blink with the attack. So you can do kind of a little combo. Frost Blink, Frost Blink, Frost Blink, Frost Blink, Frost Blink, blah, blah, blah. It's hard to say back and forth. And you can kind of combo pretty well. So that's your traversal. And it's pretty important to traverse with a discharge build because you want to kind of get in the middle of the action. Assuming your map isn't too crazy and you're dying too much, then you want to discharge from the edge. But on T16, you got plenty of defenses because of the regen. And uh, you just pop that discharge right in their faces. All right, so that is gear slot number one. Now, for the first forward battery, I am rocking a call to arms with Enduring Cry and increased area of effect right there. Now, that's not that big of a deal. I don't have any way to pump up the war cry, so this is mostly for bosses. It's just going to give me a couple of endurance charges to use with my discharge. This is completely stupid because I'm barely getting any extra endurance charges for it, but there's no reason not to have it because I have the empty slots for it. Now, on this other side, we are rocking the regular Frost Blink with Power Charge on Critical Strike Support. So this does pretty good damage all on its own, and it also gives us power charges for the discharge because we have no shenanigans with this discharge. We are legitimately getting all of our charges through legitimate means, no shenanigans, no BS. Now, Blood Rage, I'm only popping because of the 25% chance to gain Frenzy Charge on kill. So that way when I throw the discharge out there and I kill a couple enemies, I'm going to re-pump up my Frenzy Charges. Now, I also have Ice Bite support, which has a 71% chance to get a Frenzy Charge on killing a frozen enemy with a 15% chance to freeze. So on this bad boy, if they're frozen, I get a bunch of Frenzy Charges like that, but they're not always frozen. So it's kind of nice to throw them both in there, so you're getting a lot of Frenzy Charges when you hit Discharge because you're killing a bunch of stuff, and then you also have the passive 8% from your skill tree. So those are those gem sockets. Now for my Discharge... I'm doing Empower, Ice Bite, Awaken, Increase Area of Effect, Discharge, Power Charge on Critical su Support, and Increase Critical Damage. Now, Increase Critical Damage could be changed out for anything you really want, but uh, I happen to think incre Increase Critical Damage is pretty nice because it's relatively universal. It's always going to hit when it hits. It's always going to be kind of strong. Something like Trinity, this build doesn't quite stack Trinity right, and there's a bunch of other things, but I just feel that critical damage support is easy, it's effective, and it's a lot of damage. So that's why I have it in there. Let's see what we got there. Dun, dun. You could do increased critical strike chance, which will put you at 100%, because right now my discharge is not at 100%. We are sitting at 75% chance to crit, but I have, uh, I think I have, no, I no longer have the mark on hit support. I took that off and never put it back on. But normally I was rocking a mark, and I probably ought to put that back on. But what? I'll leave it off. It doesn't matter. Normally I have the assassin mark, which increases the uh, crit chance and crit damage. So you don't really want to get to 100% crit chance if you're going to be using assassin mark because the main guys that you got to worry about are the bosses, and you got your mark on the boss, so then the mark puts you to 100%. Anywho, so that is the discharge setup. And over here we have our frenzy, which is also going to give us frenzy charges. So we get frenzy charges from attacking with frenzy. This is good for bosses because when you do your discharge on mobs, you get all your frenzy charges back when the mobs die. But for bosses, you don't have a way of getting frenzy charges. So this is how I'm getting my frenzy charges. It's just a basic frenzy charge with life tap, critical strike, I mean uh, cast on crit, with wintry so i'm only doing cast on crit because it's funny right cast on crit we got wintry blast which means we got another frost blink so we're gonna be triple frost blinking around now i did have lightning warp on here which made the build a little too jerky and chaotic and gave me a little bit of motion sickness much like flicker strike because this does kind of play like a flicker strike build that you blow up on people with 
And over here we have Herald Device, Discipline, Enlightened Support, Herald of Thunder. Now Herald Device, I mean, uh, in Discipline might seem a little weird, but this is where we go into here. Using Discipline, because I have this guy, plus one to power charges when you are afflicted by Discipline, and you can only have Discipline. That also explains the Heralds, because the Heralds aren't that great. On this bad boy, it's just Dex and Energy Shield, Avoid Being Shocked. I mainly need it for the Avoid Being Shocked, because I have somewhere around here the Jewel that, uh, right here, Modifier's Chance Being Avoid Shock, Apply to All Elements, and, uh, you know, that puts me at 100% with this guy. So I have 100% chance to avoid ailments, uh, elemental elements. I'm grabbing this guy just because it has 25% chance to gain Alchemist Genius. But I also do a lot of cold damage, so it's not that bad of a node to get that genius. Got that guy for the 20% increased elemental damage. And the other stats are nice as well. Pathing on through here. Getting this because it's a 5% chance to blind. Well, why not? Crit is also pretty nice. And the crit's universal, so it's going to apply to my attacks. And my spells, so it's not that bad of a no to grab. Uh, Mana's a bit tough, so I grab this just for the leech, and then I put instant leech on, and it's kind of helping out a little bit. You might be able to get around that, but you know, it's not that big of a deal. Grabbing a little crit, hybrid life. Uh, chaos damage is a bit rough. My chaos resistance is a bit, uh, a bit low, <laughs> as you can see there. So I want 30% of that to go into my energy shield. I mean, to bypass my energy shield, so those big chaos hits don't one-shot me. They still do get it done pretty good. And they still kick my ass pretty good. Uh, increased mana reservation efficiency, but I also needed the 20 int. Power charges. So most of my damage is just coming from the power charges. Power charges, power charges, surge binders, power charges. So that's the bulk of my damage. And then the next bulk of my damage is Ice Bite, because Ice Bite is huge with 12 fr uh, frenzy charges. Now, let's go ahead and run a few maps. I think I want skill tree one. Yeah, that's my red buff. Skill tree one, red buff. And let's uh, get a nice little group together and hit him with that discharge. And hit him with that discharge. It's, discharge is kind of nice, but it's got a very long animation. And it's super goofy that, with that long animation. So if you're like really blasting through the map and then you try to hit a discharge, sometimes it'll like scuff out. You'll cancel the animation you lose your discharges, but it won't boom boom. So you kind of want to let go of all your buttons before you discharge. But as you can see, I'm I'm bouncing around like it's a flicker strike build. Getting me motion sickness, but it's not so bad without uh, lightning warp. You throw lightning warp on there and shit's just cray cray. Cray cray for day day. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It got some big booms. Got them big booms. You just do some nice little screen clearing. Mm, sure, why not? Need a little bit more volume on the music. There we go. Let's, uh, let's pop off. We need thicker mob density to truly pop off. love when you get the chaos orbs. Except you gotta pick stuff up. Ain't no one like picking stuff up. And PoE2 added the weirdest feature. Couch co-op on PC. It's like they're invading my mind. They're invading my mind. 
my computer in my living room has a 3090 in it, and I got four controllers plugged right into that bitch right now. <laughs> And uh, I don't think too many people do PC couch co-op, but I definitely do, and I'm pretty goddamn stoked. Uh, I don't know exactly who I'm going to be couch co-oping with yet, but I might be able to get the misses in on some fucking PoE action. That'd be pretty wild. Nah, but couch co-op looks pretty badass. Uh, games with friends is always better than games without friends. It's, that's just a fact. I'll play almost any game with a group of friends multiplayer, and it just makes it great. I've played so many throughout my lifetime, and it's, uh, it's pretty excellent. Let's try, let's try to time it. Let's go back in time, right? We got River City Ransom, right? Mario. Sonic. Sonic was pretty dog shit multiplayer. But uh, Sonic 3 or Sonic and Knuckles? I think it's Sonic 3. It had a little uh, time attack mode where you get to pick Tails, Sonic, or uh, Knuckles. And it was pretty rad. Oh, just, that boss just blew up. And we're moving to the Super Nintendo era. And we have Mario Kart, dude. Mario Kart Super Nintendo was only two players, but damn. That shit was excellent. That was some great couch co-op. Then we move into the golden era of couch co-op, and that is the Sega Saturn, the PlayStation 1, and the Nintendo 64. I don't know if you can count the Nintendo 64 as the same uh, generation as all that shit, but it was uh, spectacular. You had GoldenEye Mario Kart 64, I think you had, uh, what's that stupid banana ball game? Super Monkey Ball? I think it was one of those on the Nintendo 64. If not the Nintendo 64, then the GameCube. And you had Worms Armageddon. It's a dumb little game. You get four players and you use little worms and you throw bombs at each other. And good god damn, that is a lot of fun. That is a bucket of fun. And then my all-time favorite is uh, Sega Saturn Bomberman. They had an 8-player multiplayer mode and also a 10-player multiplayer mode. And you get this giant map on the 10-player and you have 10-player couch co-op. You shoot the shit, you play your fucking uh, Bomberman and just have a good time. And then Super Nintendo had that, had that golden eye. I spent decades on that golden eye, right? That shit is absolutely spectacular. And then I didn't really do any of the Xbox uh, couch co-op. I mean, I think there was a lot of it. But that's when it started to die, and uh, it started to become online. I also did a bunch of LAN parties, but that's not couch co-op, right? The Battlefield 1942 and Battlefield 2 LAN parties, that shit was lit. See, let's uh, drop the bomb to give me more mi more enemies to fight this guy with. I mean, there's a bunch more couch co-ops that I'm forgetting, obviously. But those are the ones off the top of my head. Oh, they used to have these really awesome Madden games. I don't know how good the Madden games are anymore. But on the Super Nintendo, like Madden 95? Oh, damn. That shit was awesome. They also had the multi-tap where you can plug more controllers in. I think that was like five player, four player. And uh, that shit was awesome too. Contra? Damn. That was some good ass multiplayer. Alright. Enough reminiscing here. Let's uh, try to add a little speed to the build. And the whole point of having the frenzy on this skill is so I can bounce around, so I might have to use it. I mean, Mick Gordon has definitely made his signature. Everyone knows this is Mick Gordon. And this is not Doom, and this was before Doom. Ooh, let's 
try to get a big group. I'll try to get a big ass group. Man, my frost blink keeps killing them. They're not strong enough. How much big damage is my frost blink doing? It's only 200,000. I wouldn't really bring this bad boy into T17s. Actually, I wouldn't even really play this. It was not that great. The bouncing around is a bit jarring. Uh, but I think I have a different idea for a discharge. And I kind of don't like discharge either because of that weird, long, like, casting time. I'm pretty sure I keep forgetting to cast... Uh, Blood Rage, but that don't matter. Let's, uh, run another map. Actually, let's go into the jail with this bad boy. I'm getting pretty deep in the dough. Let me see if I need any more of this. Just pop a little there, because I can. I normally don't delve very much, so me being, what, in my 500 something? 529? That, that's about as deep as I've gotten, I think. I've been running a lot of delve lately, though. Oh, I gotta hit that. I was like, I'm not gonna fight this dork this whole time. I need more enemies. <laughs> dork in a bubble. And now for here, I'm just gonna use Discharge only. Oh, my cooldown is so slow. There we go. I got five Endurance Charges for my Warcry on that guy. That AoE is just awesome. It's huge. It's absolutely massive. It blows up the whole world. Especially if you get 12 of each. Oh damn, this build sucks for Dell. Uh, at least sucks for these temples. So you gotta stay on here to make the darkness go away. But uh, whenever you attack, it teleports you around. Yeah, so uh, you don't want to be using this for Dell. Man, I bet Flicker Strike also sucks pretty bad for Dell. I don't think I've ever played Flicker Strike in a Dell uh, before. I usually don't play Flicker Strike at all, it gets me motion sickness when I use Multi-Strike with it. Without Multi-Strike, it's really hard to maintain the charges. Screams in their soundtrack. I can fuck with that. 
do one more delve that doesn't have uh, one of the temples or outposts in it. So I think I kind of want to do, I saw Mathel's video where he's using the new uh, Void Sphere or whatever it's called. And it sucks up enemies to it, so I was thinking about doing that with this. You throw this Void Sphere, it sucks up the enemies, and you run on it and discharge. Rinse and repeat. That's probably better than this. So I was going to buy that and try that out next. I mean, might as well go try that boss. This is not good for bossing, but we'll, we'll see what it can do. Yeah, all, a lot of my damage is relying on the amount of charges I have and that are being uh, removed as well. It's not scaling a lot of spell damage. You could, but you know, I didn't. All my gear is power charge related and frenzy charge related at the moment. Oh, this guy's kind of annoying. Oh, yeah, no, this is terrible. This is awful. Yeah, you definitely shouldn't do this for bossing. Thank God. Alright, let's try a little bit of a thicker map. Let's see if we can build ourselves a thick map. I got a bunch of thick maps. Let's see if I got any left over. Oh, it's going to take me so long to find some thick maps. Oh, it's kind of thick, but I don't know what the warp is. The vault can get pretty thick, I think. Well, the resistance is, but we'll see what happens. power charges and I think I should. I mean, Discharge doesn't even have a good uh, audio sound, in my opinion. At least it could be better. Let's turn up some of these sound effects here. Let's go ASMR for now. I how much damage it's doing. It should be... Like you can't even hear that one. It's 
just kind of cucks out. You're going to be blowing up on people. You kind of want it to really have that ump. And it doesn't got that ump. required for this to like kind of show itself. I think I'm just gonna abandon this. There's like nobody in here. That was a good block there, but yeah, I'm gonna abandon it. I don't even have my auras on and it doesn't even matter. I don't know why I don't have my auras on. I don't... Oh, I did die in the delve. I don't want to do a T17, that shit's just nasty. Maybe thick it. When a problem comes along, you must thick it. Get that creamy juice on, you must thick it. Nope, not thick enough. Let's go thicker. Do that thick, thick. Oh, actually, I can just uh, hit it with... Uh, these to try to make it thick. There we go. Of course, they're stealing charges. You dick. You dick. You dick. Reflect elemental. You dick. That's fine. Let's corrupt it. There we go. Less cooldown recovery rate. Dick move. Stills endurance charges. Dick move. I swear to God, this game scans my builds, man. It scans what your build is running and it fucking targets it. It hard targets that shit. Hard target. Like with Van Damme and shit. Oh, that was fucking lame. And it also gave it. it steals frenzy charges. Wither, fuck. That's a lot more life. I'm totally fine with that. Let's corrupt it. Okay. Reflect Fizz, that's fine. Kempy Leech is a bit rough, but I'm gonna have to just walk, pay attention to my mana. Oh yeah, that's great. That should be pretty thick. Let's, uh, let's get some stuff. Let's get some uh, poop beetles here. Increase magic pack size, that's fine. Get more rares, that's great. I don't even know what the hell that is, but we'll, we'll grab one of those. So many of these scarabs, I'm never gonna end up using them all. We'll get a couple uh, more additional breach. Let's get our pop-up, our pop-up window here. Throw some random shit, don't even read it, just toss it in there. Bunch of memories. I should be running these memories. That's what I should do. And I, I hit discharge a few times there. And it didn't take. Discharge just doesn't feel good for whatever reason. Or I'm a fucking crackhead. Could be a crackhead and discharge just feels fine. I don't know. Kind of feel like it doesn't feel just fine.
I mean, I can kill things without discharging. A lot of the times I'm not even discharging. All my damage is coming from those power charges, so I just do kind of a lot of damage with everything. Stop and read things. It's super annoying to me. Are we done with the ticket? I don't feel like we're done. We got a little bit more of this. We got a little bit more of this. Boss up here, we got a boss up here. Got him! Got he! Ha! Fucking loser. He's up there hiding from me. Like a little bitch. We got he, we got he. I don't know why I'm clicking those. I don't think I'm gonna do any more of that stuff. I have so much. Oh, let me in it, let me in it. Hit discharge a bunch, it didn't pop off. Sometimes it might be that I'm low on mana. But it's not that it's on cooldown. Especially on this map, because I think it doesn't have leech. That's pretty good density. You gotta see some big boom. I would do a T17, but that won't be enjoyable for anyone, because I'm just gonna die. Oh, what the? I missed this. I teleported over it. Oh, that's annoying. That's fucking... I could've had so much more mobs. Now I gotta do another. I gotta do another. Because, like, that's a lot of mobs I missed out on. And this build is kind of fun to play. You know, I'm having a good time. I think I have some, some of these, yeah. Looks like this, oh this is perfect. Triple curse, it's gonna be pretty nasty with the triple curse, but whatever. Right at the start, big boy. Right at the start. Oh, got a little crazy. I'll leave my uh, blood rage off so I can regain life a little bit better. I was probably uh, petrified blooded too.
corrupted blood, not petrified blood. Just realized I said the wrong thing. I do that a lot. Trying to click that explosive button. Click it, click it, click it. I want to get everybody all at once. That was a big boom. What level was this one? Uh, Simulacrum. I think it was a Simulacrum 100. It's doing pretty good for a 100 semi. Yeah, that discharge like wouldn't go either. They gone. Kaboosh. Kablamo. Okay, I'm liking this build a little bit more. The more I play it, the more I get used to the, the wonky getting jerked around. And you just get a blow up on people. It's kind of satisfying. But I don't think it's the best version of a discharge build. And by best version, I mean best version that I would build. I'm sure someone's got some bullshit weapon swap. Get all your dish, your all your charges up at once. Bullshit. But we don't need none of them shenanigans. I'm building like legit honest builds that aren't fucking breaking shenanigans shit. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It's just... You can't compare a, a build that tries to do shit honestly to a build that's just gonna fucking abuse shit. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. You can't compare a detonate dead build to some jabroni using heavy strike with Tom's axe. They ain't the same ballpark. Oh god, that was a big boom. That was nice, that was nice. Just delete some. It's pretty great, pretty great. And it, whenever I rebuild this, uh, I'm gonna be able to remove this, uh, Spell Slinger, and I'm gonna put on another Herald, Herald of Ash. It's not gonna do any good damage, but it is gonna give me Herald of Ash Pops, which is kind of thematic. I mean, I'm popping all over everything, so I might as well do Herald of Ash Pop too. I'm gonna get this to level 10 with the bonus here. Might as well, if I can do that in 37 monsters. My headhunter buff is gone. And by most, I mean all. Let's get a headhunter buff here. Oh, that was a missed crit.
Oh, come on. You can get to 10. There's definitely a bunch of shit I didn't step on. Leaving the P and I wasted my time. A double oof. See we got more of them big boys. Oh that big boy. Reduce flash charge gain, steel charges. I don't wanna do steel charges, that's just rude. Oh that's a thicky. That's a thicky dicky. Oh and I can do that. I can do the shit out of it. Get some scarab in this shit. Some poop beetle. Got that poop beetle. We got this poop beetle. We got this poop beetle. Another poop beetle are we gonna get in? Sure. Let's uh, just do a divination poop beetle. Yeah, let's put some of this in there too. Poop beetle. or something. Harmless frogs, hell yeah. Tattoos. Let's get some omens. Let's enter this bitch. Thank God for that pop up. It's a burial chambers too, that's a good map. Group everybody together. Come on boys. Let's get popped on. Paint it. All. It's all. Or. I love this one right here with the maximum fire, maximum chaos. That's my favorite one. It's easy to read. It doesn't do shit. I can always select it. There we go. This is a better representation of what I was playing with earlier. Sitting there like, man, all it's been lame. And then make as soon as I turn on the camera to record, it gets fucking lame. There we go. Got a little bit of that. I don't want to pick that shit up. If I wasn't so lazy, I would uh, clip that little part out and start the, the video with that so people can get a preview of what the build's doing so that way they can just exit the video immediately because they can see what's happening. But man, video editing sucks. I gotta work all day. Video editing feels like work. Like right now this doesn't feel like work. I don't really care. I'm, just, I'm already playing Path of Exile so I just hit record. It's no big deal. But editing is work. This ain't really a job to me. I'm just doing this shit for fun. I enjoy Path of Exile and you know, I don't know if I can want to spread that joy. But video editing, that ain't spreading me no joy. The last thing I want to do when I'm done playing Path of Exile is fucking edit a video. So what I do, I just hit record and then fucking post. Be alone. Yeah, try. 
Oh, we got a boss getting that thick. Where is he at? Gotta make sure I'm right on him when I pop. Where'd he go? He ain't dead, is he? Is he dead? Oh, what a fucking loser. My, my playlist ran out, or whatever I had planned ran out, so, uh, uh, the doctor? The doctor? Too bad Headhunter ain't, ain't shit this league. Too bad Headhunter ain't shit this league. Got my Headhunter for like fucking five divines. Fucking wild. But that is kind of nice, I usually don't play with Headhunter because it's just not worth it. Come on now, run out of time already. <laughs> this is fun. This is a very handy way to get tattoos, though. I've gotten a bunch of tattoos that I've used from there. That's a, that's a really nice one, the, the, the tattoo one. I like it. Because buying tattoos is a pain in the ass. <laughs> Anything that's a pain in the ass to buy are the things I like to farm. The more inconvenient it is to buy it, the better it is to farm it. Well, this bitch is always over here in the corner, singing that REM shit. Hits. This bitch fucks. Must have missed a crit, because that was the max power. The nasty cunt's got Soul Eater. She getting nasty. She getting freak nasty. All right, that is the build. I like it. It's pretty rad. Let's uh, go ahead and go into pub. Might as well go into pub. But I don't want to go into pub without some tunes. So let's just do. Uh... Some basic uh, streetles of rage. You know why not? We don't want mommy's little corpse fucker. We want red shirt cyclone. I ain't even doing cyclone. Let's go into skills first and let's turn them all on. We want that bad boy into full DPS. Wait, that guy doesn't matter. Wait, how come Frostblink said zero for a full DPS? That's a bit weird. Whatever, dude. I don't even care. Hey, uh, yeah. Do I have Onslaught? I don't think I have Onslaught. I don't have Arcane Surge. Not fortified. No tailwind. I do have alchemist genius. I am leeching. I am on concentrated ground. I have killed recently. I've done all of those. 
I've done that as well. They are blinded. They are burning. They are ignited. They are chilled. They are frozen. They are shocked at... Let's do 20%. And they are Guardian Pinnacle. Why not? And then uh, I think we can turn on some potions. I'm mostly, I have these potions up most of the time. Okay, we got like a 10 million DPS. Uh, let's uh, go to Discharge. Per Discharge, we are looking at da -da -da -da, average hit. I can't, 13 million on an average hit, it looks like. Yeah, 13 million. That's pretty bad. I wouldn't say that's good. But you know what? It worked. I was just zipping around, blowing shit up with discharges. So uh, that's the build. That's the video. Want a preview for the next one? I think I'm gonna go into ChatGPT and tell it to make me a build, and I'm gonna make whatever the hell it, it tells me to make. I think that's my next video.